Now the reason I keep talking about specific numbers, 49 grams of protein, 35 grams of carbs, 11 grams of fat, instead of 50 grams or somewhere near 35, is for that exact reason, to be specific. In fact, the more in tune and in sync you can get your body with the portion sizes, the amount of calories, and the nutrient timing or meal cadence, the time at which you eat your meals. If you can get your body into that routine, it becomes very reliant on that food source. And if you're eating small amounts of nutrition at small times, your body is only going to use that food for the energy and the activities that you do during that period. It's got no reason to store it. Now that means if you're set on a certain amount of calories throughout the day, you can then increase and decrease by small increments, allowing your body to increase the amount of fat that may be then allowed to be used as fuel. Alternatively, if your calories are too low, you're gonna see your weight go down and adding in 100, 150 or 200 calories above that, you can start to see your weight bounce out and hopefully increase. It's a much more efficient way than just creating influxes by eating less and more day in, day out. So with that said, let's move on to meal number three, have a look at the ingredients and put together this recipe. So what we have here is really hard to believe that it's the same amount of nutrition that we had in meal two with that shake, apple and almond butter. This is basically gonna be a loaded tuna spud. Same amount of carbohydrates, 34.5, we're being specific. Protein, 49 grams, and fats, thanks to our avocado and a bit of the olive oil, 11 grams. Now, it's also the first time that we're starting to add some greenery in. Vegetables, salads, whatever it may be. Now, I look at these as free foods, with the exception of avocado, which is actually classified as a fruit. Anything green, I consider a free food. Eat as much as you want. No one's ever got fat from eating too much broccoli. So with that said, you don't have to weigh these out. Be specific on your proteins, your carbohydrates, and your fats, but with your vegetables, fibrous foods, go crazy on them. If that means you're feeling hungry throughout the day and you wanna eat a whole florid of broccoli, you can do that. It's not gonna hurt your gains. So the first thing we need to do is take our yam. This is 120 grams. I've already scrubbed the skin, and we're just gonna pull off the kind of the hairs and the other fibers around. And with a sharp knife or fork, just pierce the skin and wrap it just to keep that moisture in. And then this goes in the microwave on full power for about six minutes until just slightly soft to squeeze. So that really leaves us with our protein. For this, two tins of tuna, you can see here that it's solid albacore, and this is no sodium added in water, so nice and clean. Two tins there gets us the amount of protein we need. I'm actually gonna cook it. So again, a little bit of heat. Let's get a smidgen of olive oil in there. For me, this just adds a little bit more flavor, and whenever I'm at home, I prefer to cook my foods and eat them hot. As that starts to cook, let's get a little bit of spice and herbs in there. You'll see me use a lot of red pepper, cane pepper, black pepper, dillweed throughout cooking. That's fine, these are low sodium. I'll use them right up until like the final week of a competition. Just adds a little bit of flavor and taste and allows me to play around with different varieties. Final thing to do, I'm gonna take a few more pieces of veg and add these to our tuna. Got some asparagus here. I'm gonna cut this. This is something I use a lot towards the final week of competition. Acts as a diuretic, so it helps our body flush out excess water. And the mushroom. This is great with portobello mushroom. In they go too, and make sure everything gets spread it out. That's all cooking. There is just one more thing I want to do actually, and that's create a bit of a sauce for our tuna. Now, when I was little, my mum used to make me tuna and mayonnaise sandwiches. But I soon found out mayonnaise wasn't good for me, so I've moved on from that. We're gonna use hot sauce. Just half a teaspoon. 
This is where our olive oil comes in again. Go one full teaspoon there. And I think, let's make it a little bit spicier. Sprinkle of cayenne pepper. I'm gonna mix that olive oil into the hot sauce. Get that pepper around too. We don't need much, you can see here, this is literally just a teaspoon. But when we add that to our tuna, it's really gonna enhance the flavor and bring everything together. You can see once the yam is cooked, it really doesn't look that big. And that's okay. This just means we can have carbohydrates with pretty much every meal. And if you want, as a reveal in the actual ebook, you can switch up the placement of your carb. I call it carb distribution. If you want to have less for breakfast and have more for lunch, which is effectively what meal three is, you can drop down the other carbohydrates in the snack and the one before the gym. Essentially, as long as we get those macronutrients in throughout the day and they are spread out in some form, then it's okay. It really comes down to your preference and how you can fit it into your lifestyle. As you can see this really is gonna be a loaded spud. So I think to make it a little bit more appeasing, I'm gonna open that up to allow our tuna mix to go in the middle. Time to get our hot sauce in. we get every last drop and give it a stir. Okay, I said I just wanted to heat this up. There's no need to really overcook it. So I'm gonna take that off the heat and just check on our broccoli. Okay, actually see that's nice and soft now. The knife goes straight into that. So that comes off the heat and let's drain the water out over at the sink. Okay, let's start to bring it all together. So my tuna, we'll put that in the center here. Our broccoli, we're gonna take and place around the side. You guys are probably thinking this is all for show and the effect, but this is literally how I eat. You know, if you're eating clean food, it doesn't hurt to make it look appetizing especially if you're cooking for two. And the final finishing touch, let's just take our avocado. This is about a third of an avocado. Just gonna slice that. Add that onto the top there. Again, this might look like quite a big meal now, but you know, remember we've padded it out. Remember the size of the yam, the amount of tuna that we had. And if you look at the actual meal plan, it's the same calories as the protein shake in the apple. Yes, we've got a little bit more fiber and veg there, but like I said, if anything, they slow down the absorption of those sugars coming from the yam. So it's a benefit to having more fiber. So here we have it, meal three, or as some people affectionately call it, lunch. Same nutrition, 49 grams of protein. We've got 35 grams of carbs just over 11 grams of fat coming in at 440 calories. See, same as the protein shake. Ideal to take with you, you can cook this up the night before or variations of it as you can see on the plan. You can always keep it in the fridge in Tupperware if you need to head out or take 10 minutes to cook at home. So give this one a try, add it to your repertoire of meals. Let's move on and take a look at meal four.